It's a very big deal because they are hoping that American astronauts will lift off from American soil on a U.S. built rocket later this year. And it would be, of course, the first time since the shuttle stopped flying. It would be with NASA supervision on a commercial crew vehicle. So this is why this is important now. On top of that rocket, at the very top, is a crew vehicle called Dragon. They need to make sure that that vehicle is safe before astronauts fly. This morning, a countdown to the rebirth of America's space program on launch pad 39A. Three, two, one, liftoff. The we same pad liftoff. that sent Three, Apollo two, and nine, shuttle nine, astronauts three, into space. Liftoff. The SpaceX Dragon crew vehicle should lift off very early Saturday morning. This mission unmanned, but if all goes well, astronauts could soon be headed to the space station in American rockets launched from American soil. NASA astronauts have been hitching rides on Russian rockets since the space shuttle stopped flying eight years ago. This is what I'm working for, Tom. I'm, I, we would like to have a crew up in station by the end of 2019. But for that to happen, NASA has to be confident the crew vehicle on top of the rocket is safe. So SpaceX is loading a pulseless passenger into Dragon for tomorrow's flight. A sort of crash test dummy named Ripley, wired up to monitor all of the stress and G-forces an astronaut might experience from liftoff to orbit to re-entry to splashdown. Overnight, SpaceX founder Elon Musk tweeting out this photo of Ripley inside the capsule, a much more high-tech version version of the Starman dummy that rode in a Tesla during last year's SpaceX launch when I talked to Musk. Elon, in our lifetimes, yeah. where will SpaceX take us or where will humans go in space? I'm very hopeful that humanity will have a base on the moon and a city on Mars in our lifetimes. But for now, the mission is to carry NASA astronauts to the space station. And SpaceX isn't alone. Boeing also has a contract with NASA and has developed its own crew vehicle that it will test next month. NASA's chief astronaut says it's all about trust. We can't do it by ourselves, and so we have decided to place our trust in SpaceX. We've decided to place our trust in Boeing, and together we're going to be able to get back to space. All right, Tom, but I guess the big question is, how do you go from this, this test, to actually getting humans in space? Yeah, so they will test this vehicle, and they will, they, it'll go all the way to the space station, then come back and splash down. Then they'll do a full analysis looking at all the data to see whether they think it's ready for a manned mission. And if it is, that manned test could come this time, sometime over the summer. By the way, Boeing is going through the exact same process. They could also lift off sometime this summer with astronauts. If you want to watch it live, you can get up with us really early, 2.49 <laughs> a.m. East Coast time. I don't think there will be that many of you out there watching with me, but we'll be watching here, and it should be a lot of fun to Tomorrow see how, morning? How well it goes. Is that like a Saturday Box, morning you're suggesting? Right. Tomorrow morning, mm -hmm. live streaming on SpaceX. Weekday, yeah. you might have had us. Weekday, we'd yeah. be close, but of course, if you, Friday night, you could be up all night. You just roll it into a long night. Rolling after yeah. one of my ragers, yeah. I think it's going to be a long 40 hours. Yeah, right? it's cool, though, Tom. Thank you. How that exciting. Really cool. Thanks, Tom.